The original building opened in 1982, and then more recently with the recent renovations that's occurred, it opened on October 5th of 2020. This was a student-driven uh, renovation. Students identified that they wanted an updated, more modern look to the recreation center. Um, they advocated it and it passed through student government. And it was a $16 million project, consisted of a variety of different new amenities, numerous multi-purpose rooms for various activities. Um, a lot of those rooms are more private and secluded. And then also just a facelift uh, to the entire facility overall. And air condition was a big factor as well. The Rec IM did not have air condition prior to the renovation process. So the first floor consists of our front lobby, um, and then we have a larger lobby area located on the north side of the building. We have table games, consists of ping pong tables, foosball, pool tables, and air hockey. And then we have our office suite there, and then we do have three multi-purpose rooms, as well as three racquetball courts located on level one. On level two, we have our main fitness floor, a variety of equipment from cardio, uh, strength, and selectorized machines. Then we also have three multi-purpose rooms on level two. Level three, we have another lounge space as well as four uh, basketball courts. Level four, we have more selectorized machines, cardio equipment, and our indoor track. And level five is a meeting space. And then we also have Fletcher Fields, um, which consists of two soccer fields, um, depending on how it's mapped out, but some outdoor space as well. The overall project for the renovation was $16 million. Uh, the way it was drafted with student government leading, leading the cause was it's a $50 uh, semester fee for students. Um, they have the option to opt out if they choose to, but it's $50 a semester. You get access to the recreation center, the outdoor fields, and then all of our programming, which consists of fitness classes, intramural programming, um, which will probably be somewhere around 22 to 25 different sports, um, our personal training, as well as our eSport component as well.